should you allow TypeScript to infer your return types like this? Or should we explicitly declare our return types like this? When I first saw this debate, I kind of defaulted to, well, explicit's better than implicit. I like seeing what my functions are meant to return right there in the code. But as I've seen more explanations and heard kind of the different sides of the arguments, my thoughts have become a bit more nuanced and I've landed somewhere in the middle. So let's break it down. First, the pros of explicit returns. Number one, you can see the author intended return type right in the code without needing to run any tooling. Now, I'll admit, basically everyone uses LSP and in-editor tooling these days. And honestly, if you don't, I don't even know why you're using TypeScript in the first place. So the bit about being in the code versus like shown on hover actually doesn't matter too much to me. But there is value in seeing, hey, this is what the person who wrote this function actually wanted to return. That way you know it's not an accident. Two, it stops you from screwing up your contracts. When you write a function, it's because you expect other parts of your code to use that function. If those parts expect your function to return this, but you started mucking around in the body of the function, and now it actually returns this, you've potentially broken all the places where the function's called. Had you explicitly said that you wanted to return the type that you wanted to, then your function body would have yelled at you as you were writing it and told you that you're returning the wrong thing. Okay, so now why might you want to use an inferred return type? Well, the big reason in favor of inferred or implicit return types is that they're always going to be more accurate and specifically more narrow. For example, you might have a function like this. It accepts a Boolean and then depending on what was passed in returns one of two strings. The inferred type here is very specific. It's either hello admin or hello user. It's, it's only one of those two specific string values. But if you explicitly typed the return as say something more generic like string, you'd actually be casting it to a wider type and that more specific type information is now lost that I'm planning to export from the project. For example, I'm building a library then I'll use an explicit return type. And that's because I never want to change my return type on the users of my library without being extremely intentional about it. If I'm writing a function that's only going to be used in my own code base, 99% of the time I'm using an inferred return type. If I'm writing a function that people outside my code base depend on, I'm using an explicit return type 99% of the time.